Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Duck and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together with the newest DLC, the Cossacks. We're playing as Russia. In the last episode we took these uh, three provinces from Saporozhye. We annexed them. And it would be interesting to see if the Commonwealth um, breaks the alliance with us, because we have taken three provinces that they consider to be of vital interest to them. Yeah, well... Um, let's hope they don't. I'd rather like to... I'd rather keep them as an ally. They have helped me a fair bit in the past. On the other hand, they have provinces that belong to us. They have Russian provinces over here, on which we have permanent claims. Um, I have difficulties keeping... Keeping at peace with them, or oh. letting the provinces remain in their in their country. Austria is supporting the independence of Brandenburg. Yeah, let's let's keep that diplomat in the Commonwealth. They have the mission of conquest of Poland. Holy cow! I didn't know such a mission existed. Oh, what, what's your mission? You don't have one. Well, yeah. As I said, I'm fine if they if they keep the alliance alive. I will be glad. Kriboy Rog. Really, that's what we're going to make out of Saporogia. Okay then. And our colony has been has been caught. It's a an estuary colony. Is there is there actually some money going from this place to our place? Maybe we could suck some trade out of China or something. Doesn't really look like it. It's so ugly the border go with the Golden Horde. But attacking Bukhara at the moment, they have seventy one thousand troops. What really bothers me though is that the Ottomans are westernizing. That is bad. That is really bad. Uh, westernized Ottomans. That isn't going to be fun. Yeah, well, I have to I have to put down my fortresses again. There's a level 2 fort over here, which I don't need. This province is perfectly protected by Crimea. Could use one over here in Nikolaev. Oh, I don't really need that. I could just build one in Ochakov. That's what we're going to do, I think, when we are done with coring. We don't need this this castle. Get rid of it. Some more culture conversions. Maybe. Can we do some more? No. And we have some Eastern music. Fun. Finnish separatists are rearing their head again. They will only revolt in 20 years. I've never seen them do anything yet in this, uh, in this series. What's going on with them? They're still disloyal. You assheads. I'm your I'm your your uh, legal overlord. Our oh, bad diplotech is hurting us. And we've converted Arask. So let's do Nizhny and Binsk. So lower Mbinsk. Where well, is actually Mbinsk? No, oh, don't see that. How's our explorer army doing? Ah, yeah, you're back here. Okay. Fine then. Then find out who's in there. No, no, they can do it. So it was actually really the um, being exiled part. Okay. 
We need to move into Tunguska to fulfill our mission that we have. Colonize Eastern Siberia. That's something we should we should do. And we have integrated these provinces over there. We can now westernize. How? Why? Is the Commonwealth Western? Did they westernize? No, they are Eastern. Ah, I think you cannot westernize as long as you have overextension. I think that's it. Saporosian separatists. More. Could send one more unit down there, but I'm actually thinking of bringing down my army maintenance some some uh, bit. Still paying a fair bit of interest, but we have reduced our loan, and we can reduce it by 800 more. Uh, we're done improving our relations with Persia. We're going to maintain that diplomat. This province is pr producing gold. I'm very happy that we have at least one more gold mine over here. We're going to be developing this gold mine to nine. The uh, point where you uh, don't have any risk of depleting. I would have actually to do some research to see if um, it doesn't still pay off to put this, put the production up as high as you can on your gold mine. Not really sure. I would have to look into the internet and um, yeah, do some research on that. So it seems our castle down here has been built. I'm going to demaintain it. At least we have one down here now. What's focus declaring war? They are they are some some crazy um, power mongers. They have only one province. Can that be right? Hmm. Bavaria has recovered from religious turmoil, and Nuremberg is back into existence. And Pokrovsk is now Russian. Great! Let's have a look at culture change. Where's Pokrovsk? Over here. So now you have Russian as an adjacent culture. You do have it. You don't. But you soon will. Fine. It's going, going pretty well. Getting more mercenaries. It's not that important, but fine I guess the rest of these ideas aren't, aren't so great I think I'm going to stop um, increasing my my ideas now for a bit of more tech I'm going to get better cannons and a training fields not that we need more manpower we already have lots of it well Going to get the university. That's pretty cool. Gives you possible number of buildings plus one, so you don't really lose a slot when you build that. Development efficiency plus ten percent, and admin efficiency plus twenty percent. So we can take more lands without being without being overextended. That's that's cool. I like that. We're going to need that if we want to eat um, Yukara later. How's my explorer doing? Where are you, mate? Oh yes, you made it over there. Very good. No one wants to work. Okay. And our leader died. Really? Alexei Narishkin is now ruling our nation. And we have no legal heir. Okay. Fine. Austria wants a royal marriage. Hmm. Yeah, why not? I want to I want to keep my alliances with those guys.
I'm sad that I cannot marry Persia, but I guess it wouldn't be right. They are Muslims, so it's not really what we want. They are loyal again. Someone is agitating for liberty over there. I wonder how many times I can do that. I have lots of prestige. I can just bring down their, their liberty desire if I need to. Well, I don't need to, so. I have converted some more heathens to the only faith. The only worthwhile faith. Province of Tsuritsina has the culture we, we require. Great. And Persia has declared war on Bhutan. Getting a lot of money now. I think we have finally turned the situation around. I would still be very glad to see all of my debt go. And Yukara is taking more land. Those guys are a real cancer. I guess I have to take them down at some point. We're up to 92,000 men. <clears throat> Okay, what, what have we found over here? Some stuff that belongs to someone. Japanese Manjuria. And Nareem is self-sustaining. Excellent, excellent. So we'd need to, um, to do some, some development here to bring up the production. No, first we have to core it. That's always the first thing. And I think we're going to build a fortress in there too. We have now two gold producing provinces. Let's repair that loan. Only 2,700 now as loans. Converted some more heathens. How does it look with the cultural change? Clergy seize power. Ooh, paper state has um, hasn't kept a lid on their clergy. While keeping the common people in line through their ties with the divine, the clergy have used every one of the many means available to them to seize the reins of government. While still ruler in name, our pope is now little more than their puppet. <laughs> Which is really funny because the pope is actually also part of the clergy. <laughs> I really, think, uh, I really uh, think that the, uh, the paper state shouldn't really have that kind of mechanic. It seems a bit odd. Yeah, this is coming along nicely. We're getting a very nice and unified body in our lands. Let's have a look at the cultures. Is that in political? Yeah. Cultures. So you see that I have made Russian pretty big. Um, can't change Mishar because that is part of the Golden Horde. Persia has taken a vessel. I don't mind that. These people are Siberian. Yeah, going pretty well. Sweden. Ooh, took some land from Pomerania. This war didn't go so well for Pomerania. Persia now has the Ottomans as a rival, so they are even more my friend than before. And we've changed a bunch of cultures. So let's do some more culture change. Yes, you have adjacent culture. You don't, so we won't be doing that yet. It's probably a waste of diplo power. 
Yeah, Nareem is now fully upgraded. Ooh, that's expensive. That's really expensive because it's Arctic. Hmm. Picard declared war on Garwal. Yeah, they are on a conquering spree. No one is stopping them. It's not good. Question is... How much does a university cost? 307. We'll bring that down by 20%. Or we'll basically negate the forest that's in there. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm going to wait until I get the next admin tech. Although that is that is a lot of time. Until I can do that. No, we're just going to to straight improve this thing. We increase the manpower and even more. Oh, I know I found some some uh, sea zone over here, the Kara Sea, and we have found Western Siberia. Maybe because we have colonized all the adjacent places. And natives in Troitsky lose one ferocity. Still not sure if this colonization um, policy is really helping us. Ooh, a new Tsar, Power the First von Baden. Ooh, with some really good stats. Nice. Personal union on monarch death. An looming disaster. Ah, that's not good. Spent 57 of my points? Really? That's pretty cheap. So we have avoided the disaster, but hey, Tsar Pavel, you have to you have to get a move on. Make me some airs. Or better yet, do something stupid so a revolution forms. And overthrows you so that we can be a proper republic. Another royal marriage offer from the Commonwealth. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, I think we should also. I don't know. They offer the royal marriage. Let's improve the relations with them a bit more. Alexander of Gay now has the uh, culture we require, which should enable us. Oh, this guy's all rising up. Should enable us to culture flip this province. Yes, for a bit less points. How's the exploring coming over there? This is Japan. Japan has actually made its way on the continent over here. Interesting. Looks like we're going to f be fighting Japan at some point. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring my army back. Maybe to over here. Oh yeah, I <laughs> actually forgot to start a new colony over here. How could I forget that? We need to colonize into Tunguska. Colonies are doing well for us. They are bringing our our income up by quite a bit. It's not a bad province to build a fort in. A lot of bordering provinces. Commonwealth inherited Brandenburg. Okay. I didn't think this would happen. Well, I guess it's fine. They are our ally. So not that happy that they get more powerful. Well, let's offer them a royal marriage anyway. Personal union would be bad. 
I mean, we wouldn't be obligated to help our the leader of a personal union between our lands. But I really like the um, Republic playstyle better. I have to say, repay the loan. Commonwealth is warning Saxony. Yeah, the Commonwealth is now really part of the of the HRE in a way, at least of the HRE politics. They're obviously not a part of it. But, yeah. And reforming the Empire, that's never going to happen now. Um, yeah, we're going to take that. Why not? Battle of Tuna. Colonists will arrive in a hundred days. About a hundred days. How are the rebels coming? Yeah, yeah, we have some erosions. Twenty years, forty years, forty years. So it's not, it's not really a thing. I don't really care about that. Could spend more to gain more stability. Oh, we have a really low legitimacy. Hmm. Yeah, repay the bank loan. How much uh, stuff do we have now? 900. We should be able to, to scrimp 900 together. Garwal. Return two, two calls to someone else. So Bukara was just asserting its, its dominance over there. Let's increase the production over here. Guessing our inflation is now rising rather quickly. Could use the economic ideas. What were we doing over here? They they accepted that we took um, Saporosia, which is good. How's their leader now? No, they still have the militarists. They still want these places. Bit annoyed that they also want my vessel. I have to eat that. So the Golden Horde goes away. Um, yeah, but I guess I have to end it here. Oh, I think we have come a, a long way with Russia. I really like where we are headed. We're now making a solid amount of money and it's only going to increase because we can at least bring um, Nareen up to the 6.6 .6 that we're getting from Slatoost. And that's going to be going to be great. So we're getting a lot of money out of these two gold mines with the possibility of getting even more of that stuff in the east because we are constantly colonizing. A lot of these places have some chance for gold. These two have 3.3%, but well, you never know. Didn't get a lot of these things where the chance for gold was higher. 4.4, 4 4.4, 3.3, 3.3, 4.4. And some of these lands are looking rather promising. 5.7, 4.8. Yeah, there's a lot of, lot of chances for gold. We can strike it really rich here in the east if we play our cards right. Oh. If the random number, n random number gods are on our side, hope we don't fall into a personal union. And yeah, at some point, I have to attack Bukara and get rid of this ugly border goal with the Golden Horde. I hate it. And then I guess we're going to strike at the Ottomans to get them away. We're going to have a short look into this before we start, uh, before we end. So Commonwealth is back to 100,000 men. No manpower though. Austria, 50,000 men, no manpower. A lot of these guys don't have a lot of manpower. Persia, 72,000 men. Solid amount of manpower. Um, 
Ottomans, 163,000 men. Solid amount of manpower. Must be Kara looking. 76,000 men. Solid amount of manpower. Well, I think together with Persia, I might be able to do stuff against Bukhara. How's our favor situation looking? Yeah, we have 11 favors now. So we could theoretically pull them into a war. Let's see. If I declare a war, they will get Golden Horde and Bengal on their side, plus their allies. And these guys don't even want any... Yeah, they want favors. Okay. But they would join. For these guys, it's all a distant war that they don't care about. Although no, Commonwealth would be willing to, would be willing to do it. I would do a holy war because that makes taking provinces pretty easy. Conquest would bl would only um, be valid for these two provinces. But I want as many of the provinces as we can. I think we're going to do that in the very near future. Eat Bukhara and remove uh, some sort of a stopgap for our eastern expansion. I want to get my name bigger. It's to be really big. Mm -hmm. I hope you join me for that. Thanks and bye bye.